A report released by the World Bank on Thursday shows that over 500,000 Tanzanians have become poorer as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The spread has led to increased unemployment in the country. According to the report, tourism is among sectors that have been adversely affected by the pandemic. Tourism was Tanzania's leading foreign exchange earner by 2019, but earnings dropped to $1 billion in 2020. They went down even further in the year to May 31st to about $796 million, according to the Bank of Tanzania. The World Bank says that Tanzania needs an efficient, reliable and transparent business environment to support sustainable recovery of its tourism sector, despite the country having many leading attractions. Let's discuss this further with Gabriel Mwangonda, an, econ an, ec an economic analyst who joins us live from Dar es Salaam via Zoom. So, Gabriel, thank you very much for joining us tonight. The World Bank is talking about about half a million people now going below the poverty line as just some of the impacts of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic in Tanzania. But just paint us a picture of the prevailing situation following these disruptions caused by the pandemic and how the Tanzanians are coping with these challenges. Yeah, actually, <coughs> Tanzania has been affected by COVID-19 just like any other country because we are not an island. So. Uh, as for the number, which is 1 million, which has been uh, pronounced by the World Bank, we are not that much sure about the number. But to be honest, uh, some businesses slowed down and uh, we had a laying off of staff uh, in a lot of companies. So most uh, definitely we have a, a problem when it comes to COVID-19. Uh, even if you look at the GDP growth, um, we, uh, we, we, we have reduced the projections and the numbers reduced. For example, last year, we were to grow at a, uh, 7%. Now we are growing at a, a rate of 4.8. So you can imagine with that con con contraction uh, in the economy, you will expect a lot of uh, people to be laid off and unemployment level will keep on rising. And so many other companies we, which have been closed can cause that uh, uh, poverty line uh, number of uh, citizens to increase. So uh, we are hoping for the government to keep on, uh, you know, taking some necessary measures. One of the key sectors that has been uh, badly affected was the tourism sector, which has uh, uh, has experienced a very bad uh, uh, experience that uh, last year and uh, this year as well. So uh, there are some key measures which the government is trying to take on on on, um, on on tourism sector, which we are hoping that sometimes later uh, things might go to normal. You know. Okay, so let's talk about that, uh, Gabriel, because actually the World Bank did talk about that, the vital tourism sector. And I said there is an opportunity for government to actually ignite inclusive growth for that sector. So what are these measures that you're talking about the government is actually implementing to, to turn around the sector? Oh, okay. The first reaction was done by the Central Bank of Tanzania uh, when it comes to monetary policies. So uh, there was some necessary measures in, in terms of reducing the interest rate. So there's a, there's a push now uh, to push uh, the, the reduction in the interest rate uh, whereby banks uh, are charging uh, people who would want to borrow money from them. So uh, if you live along that measure from the central bank, there's another one which is physical when it comes to taxes now. Um, when fiscal measures such as taxes, uh, we have seen there's a reduction in the uh, tourism and travel agents uh, operators license fees, which uh, was reduced from 2000 USD to 500 USD. So that was uh, that came as a very big relief to uh, two operators and travel agents. Um, when it comes to uh, the authorities that are, are supposed to keep co conserve uh, the national parks, we have seen that uh, the government is trying to pump a lot of money for them not to, you know, stop, uh, you know, uh, servicing the national parks and other areas where uh, uh, tourist attractions are. So uh, those are some of the measures which the government is trying to uh, has been trying to to to. To take and uh, some of them have been continued to be done in this uh, um, financial year. Uh, we have seen when uh, the finance minister was announcing uh, the, 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 the budget of 2021-2022, there was some reduction in some several fees when it comes to tourism. So we're expecting uh, 
some rebounds uh, from the tourism sector, but uh, not as expected uh, because uh, the, the world is still uh, fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, we are not uh, quite optimistic that uh, we're going to get back to the position of pre-COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Right. And when you talk about the world fighting uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, we did see, in fact, just this week, Tanzania finally embarking on a national vaccination program. What's the significance of this inoculation program when it comes to reviving the economy? Yeah, you know, uh, when it comes to economy, perception is very key. So information is very important. So when, when, when people hear about uh, the safety of visiting Tanzania, then they get uh, excited and uh, tourists would, they, they first look at how safety the country that they're going to is in terms of terrorism, in terms of war, in terms of uh, their uh, healthcare facilities and other issues such as pandemic, how are we handling it? So if uh, tourists from Italy would hear that uh, uh, Tanzanians have, have received uh, vaccines and have been vaccinated, that means uh, people, I mean, tourists will be very comfortable that I'm not going in Tanzania to contact, contract uh, uh, COVID-19. It's a safe country because those people have been vaccinated, so there's no chance of being of contracting uh, such a disease and uh, even if I contract that means it's gonna be it's not gonna be that severe so this boosts confidence when it comes to tourism flocking into Tanzania both mainland and the island of uh, Zanzibar so uh, it is our hope that uh, with these vaccines uh, even the business guys who would want to come and invest would be very happy because the way we are operating now is like uh, we are operating on shift basis. The number of staff have been reduced a lot. So because the people would, wouldn't want to, you know, to be the source of, you know, spreading the viruses. So with the vaccine, that means people might get into jobs full swing, meaning that you might uh, deploy all the stuff that are supposed to be in those uh, in those uh, ships and uh, everything will get back to normal, just like the way uh, Europeans are doing right now. So that is our hope that uh, things we get uh, will be normalized and we'll be doing our economic activities uh, just like the way we used to do in the pre-COVID-19 pandemic. Right, uh, and Tanzania has since adopted what, what seems like a new diplomatic policy. Um, would you say it's paying off in terms of investment interest and what's the outlook? Yeah, uh, the outlook is good. I think uh, the whole world is uh, observing um, the slow but uh, sure steps that we are making as uh, Tanzanians uh, because uh, immediately uh, Her Excellency President Samia Sulu Hassan after being uh, after taking charge of the office, she made several visits to our neighboring countries. Uh, the one uh, country which we are trading off and the biggest trade partner in East African bloc uh, is Kenya. Then uh, our president had a meeting with uh, the Kenyan counterparts, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, and we had a lot of bottlenecks when it comes to trading between these two countries. We had about 38 uh, trading bottlenecks and all these were non-tax uh, uh, you know barriers to, to, to trade you find that uh, after the meeting uh, we, we we had reduced almost 20 uh, 27 27 uh, bottlenecks uh, between us and uh, Kenyans and uh, now things are, are moving very smooth because back in the days it was tit for tat and it was a very uh, toxic uh, diplomatic uh, uh, policy. Now we are trading very smoothly uh, because, uh, as you know, Tanzania is very good at agriculture and we're exporting a lot to Kenya. And Kenyan uh, are uh, uh, bringing to us uh, a lot of manufactured goods. And now uh, there's no more uh, stoppage or blockage at our border. Po our border uh, uh, situations is is very good. So we are we are back into normal trading businesses and. Uh, Things are okay, and th that, that's what we are talking about: uh, economic diplomacy. Because whenever we have issues with Kenya, we we are both losing. Kenya is losing, and uh, Tanzania is losing, losing as well. So, with the stance that we are taking right now, with our diplomacy, uh, things are going very well. I think you have seen uh, even Dangote came back 
uh, he came to Tanzania and he told the world that Tanzania is welcoming a lot of investors because the environment has changed and the, the ease of doing business Tanzania has been uh, gaining uh, momentum and now uh, we are doing very well in terms of that so you can imagine uh, people such as Dangote has a very good voice that was a very strong message to the world that things have changed in Tanzania and now we are back to business. So yeah, I can say our diplomatic uh, uh, police now is doing very well. All right, Gabriel Mwangonda, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you very much for talking to us.